If you're gonna do it, if you're gonna pull the trigger on a brand new Mercedes Benz, at least make it worth it. If you're out there trying to get a Mercedes for the lowest possible price, getting one and paying just a few thousand less than a Mercedes GLC is not really doing all that much. If you're gonna go out and get yourself a GLA, make sure you're shopping hard, much harder than what I'm telling you to go after as a minimum in this negotiation guide tonight. However, I want you to use the purchase and lease baselines as minimums as well as the targets for maintenance and repairs and insurance costs to give you an overall sense for what this Mercedes GLA is gonna cost you. What is happening guys? Ari here from Boston Automotive Consulting and in the description below, you're gonna find various resources to help you not only shop around for the very best Mercedes GLA deal, but you'll also be able to shop around for insurance rates, get your auto credit scores, as well as shop around for an auto loan. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing because this whole channel is gonna teach you everything you're gonna to need to know so that you can negotiate your best possible deal. I'm not gonna tell you that Mercedes dealers are having trouble keeping Mercedes-Benz GLAs in stock. The fact of the matter is, is that they're just not pumping them out as quickly as they can. Mercedes has been backed up since the pandemic began. Now, as far as inventory goes in the United States, what we're dealing with at the moment is, is primarily an all-wheel drive inventory. We're seeing roughly about 1,200 all-wheel drive models, 1,235 to be exact, and 210 front wheel drive models. Now the breakdown is about 210 GLA 250 front wheel drives, 860 GLA 250 formatics, 200 GLA 35 formatics, and 175 GLA 45 formatics. We've got the most as being GLA 250 formatics, so we're gonna be using that as our example vehicle for tonight's negotiation guide and mine has an MSRP of 42,945. Now the target that I want you to go after is about 6% off of the MSRP. This would land you at a target selling price before rebate of 40,435. The rebate that I'm talking about is coming from the manufacturer going straight to the dealer of $500. There's also a promotional APR offer of 2.99 up to 72 months, 1.99 up to 36 months. And all in all, taking the $500 rebate, subtracting it from our 6% off of MSRP, gets me to a final target of 39,935. And if financed at 60 months at 2.99%, gets me to a payment of 727 a month and this is assuming that you're paying your taxes and fees to its start. I know it's not aggressive at all. I know the payment is ridiculously high and the selling price is very, very close to just a regular base GLC 300. This ain't good. It ain't gonna get any better in the lease section of this video going after the same target of 6% off of MSRP, same $500 rebate manufacturer to dealer cash, I should say, a residual of 59% for 36 months at 10,000 miles a year and a money factor of 0 0.00086. Plugging this all in into the lease calculator and assuming we're giving just our inception fees due at start, so your first payment, acquisition fee, dock fee, registration, all that stuff. Do it start roughly about 2,375 bucks We'd be talking about 490 bucks a month. Super, super close to the payment of a GLC 300. As far as maintenance and repair goes, this has Mercedes-Benz written all over it. Average maintenance cost after the warranty period runs up, roughly around $655 with $925 being the average for repairs after the warranty period runs up. Relatively speaking here, the average $40,000 car should not be costing all this much money. I have not said a positive thing yet in this video, except for the average insurance rate, which was not all too, too bad in the United States. In Arizona, what we're seeing is, is $14,15, $19,40 in California, $21,30 in Florida, $12,70 in Illinois, 
1360 Massachusetts, 2960 Michigan, 1795 New York, 980 North Carolina, 1625 Pennsylvania, 2050 Texas, and 1020 in Virginia. I want to encourage you guys to use the links in the description below so that you can shop around for the very best deal on a Mercedes GLA. You'll also be able to shop around for insurance rates, get your auto credit scores, as well as shop for an auto loan. And if you found this information useful, please consider subscribing. Thank you so, so much for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.